<clears throat> okay, so this is a working, uh, basically, if you're in a situation um, at your job and you're uncomfortable with certain people, they're making your life a misery kind of thing, this is a good way to go about it. Um, so again, this is the Santi Santa Morte working, uh, so I've already gone to Santa Morte and I basically explained the situation to her. Uh, so what I'm going to do now, I've got this cleaned out jar and I've got photographs for the woman in question so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some oils on the pictures so I'm going to keep this jar here just in case the photographs I don't want them showing basically so just to protect the client uh, I'm putting banishing oil I'm putting banishing oil on first because we want rid of them they're making the working environment toxic so we want rid of them as soon as possible actually what i think i'll do is yeah i'm gonna do that one of these women is really nasty well they're all nasty but one of them in particular talks to herself so i'm gonna put some as bad as it sounds asylum dirt on her picture okay you can't see it what i'm doing but that's what i'm doing just to let you know because it would be really good if she was to take a an extended vacation in the asylum <laughs> and please 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 uh this is called for you cannot make people's lives a misery you know Right, so I'm putting some chili and some cayenne again on the photograph. And I am going to just fold that uh, away from me. Okay, so I'm going to leave that one over there and I'm going to do the same for this next uh, person I'm putting and this time I'm going to put a little bit of sulfur on her photograph. Sulfur is great for discord. And again, I'm going to fold that away from me. Folding away from me is uh, basically you pushing the situation, situation away getting the person to move out now there's one person in this jar who is uh, <clears throat> the boss kind of thing and she she's the one we want to influence and there'll be a sweet jar done on this situation at a later date So I'm not putting anything on her picture. Uh, because we want her to stay. We want her to her eyes to be opened uh, to the issue. So Okay, so there we go. So I'm gonna let the jar like so and pop all the photographs in oh it's getting very dusty and now i have some of the black water i've made this earlier and this is to get them to really start arguing and to sour that relationship so there's a mixture of vinegar lime juice and some bits and pieces to get people to argue and fight and obviously we want the the person that uh, knows everything with regard not knows everything the, the person that is on top of the ladder she's in the jar and nothing will come nothing bad will happen to her because I have on the petition that basically we want her eyes open so I'm going to pop that in there we want her eyes open but she will she will see the disagreements she will uh, they will clash with her and that will show uh, basically her the type of people they are 
you know that is really what the aim is here and we want to banish get rid of the people except for her so that has been explained to the Santissima Morte and that is what I'm calling for uh, so yeah now I'm, again I'm adding some of this chili and cayenne pepper powder and get them uh, arguing a little bit more uh, I'm going to add some black cat and dog hair I never have much cat hair. <laughs> it's so hard to get black cat hair. Uh, I don't own a cat, but I depend on someone giving me it. Uh, and the same goes for the dog hair. Now I'm putting some sulfur. Did I put that in? I did, but I put another bit in. Yeah. Okay, and some maybe some more banishing oil. And this is for those three women. Black salt to darken this situation. Like I said before, um, many videos, black salt can be used uh, for protection. Uh, in this instance, it's not for that. It's to darken the situation. To you know, to really, really make everyone clash, everyone fight. Uh, except for obviously the client and we want this woman who's in this jar to have her issues with these women as well for it all to be brought into the light that's what I'm calling for everything to be brought into the light and the client deserves to have some peace at work everyone deserves peace they don't need to be coming in uh, as to see people having midlife crises it's just not fair it's not right and uh, the client really, really, really needs some peace of mind. Uh, in order to do your job at a certain level, uh, you don't need people on power trips. So, <laughs> I'm just saying. Okay, let me see. I've got a little bag of herbs that I... prepared earlier but I think I've just placed them as usual okay so this is just like a little bag I, I mix these up all the time for discord for love etc so this is for discord now you can put smashed glass you can put rusty nails you can put broken mirror uh, basically uh, for love workings I like to use a smashed light bulb uh, it takes the light out of the relationship in this instance uh, I'm going to put in some needles and pins uh, just to get you know you need something just there when you shake the jar up to give it that edge and that's what I'm going to do and I'm going to uh, let me see what else I could put in there I think I could put a bit of graveyard dirt to call an ending to it. So one second. I'm just putting a tiny wee bit of graveyard dirt that is to call an ending as in we want this to stop permanently. We don't want anyone uh, harmed. Uh, you know, we don't want anyone to die out of it kind of thing. Uh, I don't mind if she takes an extended, like I said, extended leave with regards to her mental health. At the end of the day, she needs to. <laughs> She's running around talking to herself. She needs that. Uh, I'm just going to put a few more oils in there. I've got a hate oil. Um, just so that they really, really start to dislike each other. So we want conflict within them, if you know what I mean. And we want this to spill over so that... Uh, we want this to spill over so that the lady that is the CEO finds out sees it for herself and uh, that's what we really really want so oh, I'm sorry I've got some barking in the background <laughs> that's a little hit again hit powder 
No. I think I could probably uh, leave it there, or I might put a few bits and pieces uh, at a later date. I might do that at a later date, but I'm going to pop the lid on that, and I will be shaking this up uh, on the specific nights uh, that apply to these kind of workings. And it will go to the Santa Morte altar. I will place the black statue on top of it. Uh, the black statue is this one, obviously. And we can see how things go from there. Now, this is only part of it. I have more. I have the sweetening jar, and that contains the client and the CEO. And uh, uh, yeah, that contains the client and the CEO. And uh, basically, you, if you're going to do this spell, you know, change it up and do it your own way. Use your own deity. You don't have to call in the Santa Morte. Please be careful uh, with regards to the Santa Morte. I don't feel that she's dangerous and stuff, but I do recommend a working relationship with her prior to asking for anything. Uh, I've been working with her for years, so I know. But uh, what was I saying? Yeah. Uh, yes. Uh, I get lost in my train of thought. I'm trying to think uh, what else I need to do here. Uh, always offer the spirit something in return. Uh, so she will get an offering when she comes through for me. Uh, I do give her a candle and uh, a libation kind of thing. Uh, but yes, I said it before. Yeah, I'm going to sweeten up the client with regards to the CEO. Uh we don't want the client to leave or anything like that. We want the workplace to be better. So that is the idea of things. I, I'm going to have a, a look at a couple of cards. Give me a second. Okay. Uh, I just looked at a couple of cards there. And uh, yeah, I think there's big changes on the way. Uh, so I've got the book. And that is something that's going to come out into the open. And there's a contract. That ring, I think, is a contract. Uh with regards to someone that is a boss figure. So that could be someone I think that uh, is over you. Basically, I'm talking to you, the client. Uh, you know who you are. <laughs> uh, so I have a feeling that someone will actually go to another job. Uh, maybe is looking for a job at the minute. It's all being kept secret, but that will come out, I think. Uh, or else she'll be shipped off to a different department. But there's a new contract for someone that is a boss figure there. Uh, now I have a man coming into the situation and I have a man who's going to see the discord uh, and you're going to hear about this and I feel that he's going to make permanent changes and he's going to end th a lot of th things that are going on I've got that coffin card that's about endings and you're going to find this out uh, maybe via some sort of meeting um, kind of thing but I reckon there's a man coming into the situation that man card beside the cross uh, he's gonna he's gonna witness the discord and he's he's gonna be the bringer of good news so uh, yeah I do think things are starting to look up uh, you know it's all about just giving it a bit of time for you know things to you know reach you know things have to be in alignment when when all this unfolds and i think i think things are working at the minute i think you know you don't really see what's going on but uh i think this will all come to light very very soon uh at the end of the day it can't go on the way it's going on and you know We'll keep doing what we can, you know, we'll keep doing everything we can to hit it with our best shot until we see the results we want. Um, so, yeah, I'll be working on this uh, on basically uh, until we see a significant change and then uh, it'll get deployed at the graveyard. Uh, probably the graveyard because it's a holy death working. I would reckon the graveyard is the appropriate place for it. And... Uh, for the little honey jar spell sugar jar i haven't decided that one will be um i'd like to keep that on her altar until again we see significant change and uh, i'm sure there'll be bits and pieces in between that i'll be doing on this issue so yeah if anyone uh 
if anyone has ever done this before and yeah they'd be interested in your feedback as well as to how things went for you but uh that's all i've got at the moment and uh it's housemagic at gmail.com i have a lot of videos on the way i'm very very busy editing videos and moving them on out uh so if you're waiting for a video i'll be in touch pretty soon uh, these videos, they, they get time consuming, so apologies for the delay, but I will be in touch very soon. And I'm going to get this sorted and send it to the client, uh, so you'll get this uh, very soon. And I'll speak to you all again. It's housemagic at gmail.com. Please like, share, subscribe, and have a good evening.